Hi kids! Welcome to Teacher Bed Class TV! Today, we're going to discuss about the science process skills. In this lesson, you will be able to learn and understand the different science process skills. Are you ready? Science is about asking questions and finding answers. People who do science are called scientists. Scientists try to solve problems and explain them in a step-by-step -step manner. This series of steps forms a process. These are the science process skills. What are science process skills? The science process skills are skills that lie under scientific thinking and decision making. These are the things that scientists do when they study and investigate. What are these science or scientific process skills? These are the things that scientists do when they study and investigate. The science process skills. Observing, measuring, inferring, classifying, comparing, and communicating. Observing. Observing is using the five senses such as the sense of seeing, smelling, hearing, tasting, and touching or feeling to identify or learn about an object or event. It is the process of collecting information about an object or event. Good observations are essential in learning the other science process skills. Once again, these are the observation skills using senses. The sense of taste, sense of hearing, sense of touch, sense of sight, and the sense of smell. You can also use special tools that can help you learn more than what your senses can tell you. These are the telescope, microscope, and magnifying glass. There are two types of observation. The qualitative observation and the quantitative observation. What is the difference between the two? Qualitative observation Describes what something looks, smells, tastes, sounds, or feels like. Describes the characteristics of something with the use of words. For example, the pencil is yellow and the ice pop is sweet. Quantitative observation it is an objective method of data analysis that measures research variables using numerical and statistical parameters. It is composed of numbers and a label. Examples, there are four apples in the basket. The ruler is 12 inches long. Observations made using your senses are helpful. However, there are properties that the senses alone cannot detect. For example, when you say, My yellow pencil is long, you are making observation. But, how long is it? To answer this question, you need to use a measuring instrument. 
Measuring Measuring is a science process skill used in making your observations accurate. By measuring, you can tell exactly how long the pencil, just like the given example, or any object is. The use of measuring instruments makes your observations accurate and exact. These are some of the measuring instrument tools that you can use. To measure time, you can use watch. To measure height or length, you can use ruler. And to measure weight, you can use weighing balance. Inferring Inferring is a science process skill that explains or interprets the observations you have gathered. It means to form an idea from facts or the observations that are made. So this is the observation plus your prior knowledge and that is your inference. An inference is an explanation based on the observation. It is a link between what is observed and what is already known. For example, the plant is wilted. That is your observation. Your explanation is, the plant did not get enough water. That is your inference. In inferring, you interpret what you think about what you see, hear, taste, feel, or smell. Another example of inferring. So this is an example of inference based on the picture above. The first inference is, Someone was injured due to an accident. Your second inference, the purple car was out of control and collided with another vehicle. And the third inference, the man was unconscious after the collision. Classifying Classifying is sorting or grouping objects according to their properties or common characteristics. After making observations, it is important to notice similarities, differences, and group objects accordingly. An example can be tasting different food items and grouping them into five separate groups such as salty, sweet, sour, bitter, or spicy. Another example of classification is classifying with the same shape or same color or same characteristic. Comparing Comparing is the process of identifying which characteristics are similar and or different among objects. Comparing is noticing the similarities and differences of the objects. Comparing is another science process skill that helps solve problems or explain an event. For example, let's compare these two animals, an ostrich and an eagle. How are these two animals similar? How are they different? The ostrich and the eagle are both birds. Their bodies are covered with feathers, but they differ in size and ability to fly. Communicating Communicating is the giving and receiving of information about an object or event. You can express your ideas in many forms such as orally, in writing, or with the different types of diagram as a way of communicating. The following are useful in communicating information in science. Organize information in an orderly way. Describe the object or event briefly. Use words that are direct and accurate. Use appropriate tools such as pictures or tables, and 
Keep the receiver of information in mind. Once again, these are the things that scientists do when they study and investigate. The science process skills. Observing, measuring, inferring, classifying, comparing, and communicating. Thank you for joining me. Let's learn, play, and grow together. Teacher Beth Class TV Subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.